guys, Adam here with a with a new you know Jack game with Josh here. Hello, you guys. I think Josh didn't see this game, but we're gonna take a first look at it. Let me move the space here. And this game will be uh, the second volume of You Don't Know Jack with Buzz Lipman. And it has Cookie as his last sign off. 60 post. seconds. Hey, what's up with that? Know, they kind of say we sound alike. Well, of course we sound alike. I mean, we're cousins. I mean, obviously we're going to sound alike. Do you think Buzz sounds like Nate? Know? They sound nothing alike. Uh, one's more nasal, and the other one's got more of a smooth kind of, you know, DJ thing. Oh. Tomas, it's a. Say, have you ever heard that expression, TGIF? It means you're supposed to celebrate because it's a Friday. It doesn't mean you're supposed to celebrate by sitting around in front of a computer, though. That's my opinion. Okay, how many people are playing the game? One. We're playing solo. All right, then. Let's have a name. Oh, yeah. Are you here for a seven-question tournament-length game or a full 21-question deal? Full game as usual. Okay, fine. 30 seconds. Your buzzer is the letter B, as in more bang for your buck. Hey, we got 20. All right. A question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer? You buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. You with me? Good. 10 seconds. Good luck. Okay, lose the desktop. Seven. And the black. Q graphics. And standby. Three. Let's see if Josh is still there. I'm gonna pause the recording to see if he's still there. Hold on. Okay, we got him back. Now let's play the game. Let's do it. Rush hour has Skype just was glitchy. Begun. This movie has not yet been rated. And a little reminder. Jackbox Games is 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 Joey Vision. It's the other way around. If you're good at our trivia games, it don't mean check now. This has a new intro. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. I hope you find the accommodations up to your standards. And if not, hey, it's too damn bad playing by yourself today. That's cool. I'll close my eyes. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. How about it? We need a category. Alright, next up. A little depl do ya. Get it right, get two thousand bucks. Get your fingers ready. Here's one coming at ya. Based on the German translation of his last name, which role should Johnny Depp play in a production of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Snow White, Grumpy, Doc, or Dopey? Not Snow White. It's all yours! Grumpy? Only when contestants give me wrong answers. Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. The English translation of the German word Depp is dope. Whatever it's For some reason, that. none of his German viewers seems too confused. Alright, go ahead and pick one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Category. Wake the kids. Wake the kids. Thousand bucks riding on this one. Okay, time for a picture question. The whole family can enjoy. Look carefully and tell Look me. Closely, Which fictitious combination of a grown-up movie and a children's book does this picture yes. best represent? I think this is sort of super rad. The Pod Piper of Hamlin, Stuart Little Shop of Horrors, Behind the Greenhouse Door, or The Secret of Anemone? Hmm. It's not one or four. It's either two or three. I'm going to take a guess here and go with two. Stuart Little is a book about a that little makes mouse a lot boy sense. and Little Shop of Horrors is a movie about a killer plant. Got it. To get like the, the pest control industry to its knees. Pick your pick. What do you say? Put on your pants for the naked dance. Three. The category is... Sailors wear the craziest things. Alright, three grants okay, for this three one. Grand coming at ya. Alright, fingers limber, cause here comes the question. 
If Don Knotts were sailing at the speed of one knot for an entire 30-minute episode of Three's Company, how far would he have traveled by the end of the show? One half of a nautical mile, three nautical miles, 30 nautical miles, or nowhere? Said it yourself, not to go. Too bad you didn't pick Back in negatives. Was it one? Traveling oh. at the speed of one knot will get you one knot of mile got me in an crazy. hour. So a 30 minute one episode will get down see. only a half oh. a mile. Of course, when Mr. Furley so said, I'm half. heading to see, okay. Janet thought he had said, I'm betting Chrissy, and hilarious hijinks ensued. Okay, pick a category. And this question's category is CB lingo for Wait, CB lingo for pedestrians two bucks grand. For right answer. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Uh oh, looks like BJ McKay from BJ and the Bear has meandered into Hazard County. If BJ gets on the CB to alert his fellow truckers that he spotted fire, what did he most likely see? A Hazard County volunteer fire truck, Roscoe P. Coltrane, and his police cruiser, Boss Hog, or Daisy Duke. I think the lingo for big fat guy in a cowboy hat is, uh, truck driver. Okay. Here's what you should have picked. If that didn't work. What? Fire Daily Duke. Smoke is CB lingo for hot pants. Hmm, I wonder what the CB lingo for gratuitous female TV character okay, is. Sucking crap out of Come on, we need a category. We call this one Be Nice. And this one's worth $2,000. Okay, get ready to buzz in and type your answer. Oh, you know how crap. Bill is a nickname for William oh, and Bob is a nickname for this Robert. This is my worst well, of all. Because Jack is a nickname too, I could be more formal when I tell you that you don't know Jack by saying you don't know blank. <laughs> okay, I'm typing Jack. Come on, make me... Jackie? Oh, let me tell you something. If a name ends in E, there's a darn good chance it's a nickname. No. In case you're interested, okay. here's the right answer. Jack you don't know John. Oh. John. But if you oh. we were really being I formal here, I'd answer. be wearing pants. How about it? We need a category. Category is they walk alike, they talk alike. Three thousand bucks for this one. Okay, take a stab at this analogy. Patty Lane is to Kathy Lane as Peter Brady is to Sam the Butcher, Bobby Brady, Not Bill trying. Packer, or Arthur Owens. You're interested. Hello, Here's the right answer. I was going for it. Patty and Kathy oh, Lane are Owens. identical twins from the Patty Duke show, and Arthur Owens is from the Brady episode where Peter meets his identical twin. Remember how Peter and Arthur fool most of the Bradys? I think the realism is what keeps that show popular. Take your pick. What do you say? Okay, coming up, this category is my dinner with bogey. Okay, the right answer nets you one thousand bucks. Okay, take a shot at this. Question, I hope. If the famous Maltese Falcon from that Humphrey Bogart film came crashing through a restaurant window and landed in your bowl of soup, what would you tell your waiter? Waiter, there's a necklace in my soup. The waiter, there's a spy in my soup. Waiter, there's a statue in my soup. Or waiter, there's a classic three. car in my soup. Oh, God. The Maltese Falcon was a statue of a black bird. Sweet. And if you don't like it, just eat the noodles. Alright, go 
ahead and pick one. Excellent choice. It's time to play Dis or Dad. Dis or Dad time. This and is the, the category first for this Dis or Dad question is puppet shows and the porcelain god. Okay, I'm gonna read you seven names. Okay. And each one, you need to tell me is it a Muppet Show character or a mixed game. drink? If it's a Muppet, press one. If it's a mixed drink, press two. And skip it, press four. You get 500 bucks for each right answer, but I'll take 500 away for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, give me 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Gonzo, Muppet, Muppet. Bolo, Mixed Drink, Gimlet, Mixed Drink, Glock, Mixed Drink, Rizzo. Um, I'm gonna skip it. It's not Ruby Fizz. I'll skip that. Dr. D. Mixed Drink. Let's check out the ones you skip. Rizzo. Miss three, but you got four. Slightly above well, average. Well, at least I got thrill of mediocrity, huh? Hey, marginal help to your score is better than no help at all. Guess that's not bad. How about it? We need a category. It's party time. Here comes number nine. The category. Noogies in stock options. 3,000 bananas for a right answer here. Okay, imagine this. For your future financial security, you set up a taunting with your friends. What should you do to get the maximum return on your investment? Get your friends deported. Make sure your friends don't get sick. Make sure you invest in blue chip stock or secretly kill your friends. Shoulda picked this. <laughs> a tontine pays off interest to surviving investors with bigger and bigger payments uh, as people begin to die off. You better make sure no all the comment? deaths look like accidents. Uh, okay, yeah, no uh, I was just standing here with this butcher knife when, when she ran up to me and fell on it, drinking this poison and having her head slip into this noose as she fell. I thought four was one. Okay, pick a category. The category is the landlady from hell. Get this right, get $2,000. Who might have placed this room for rent advertisement? Many rooms to rent, must have fondness for children, free dinner of broth, no bread, served daily, heat water and nightly beatings included. Carol Brady, the lady of the lake, the old woman in a shoe, or Nurse Ratchet. What do you think? Man, I've got no clue. I would have said three. I don't think it's three. Mm, I'm go gonna twist for it and go for two. And I'm wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. Let me show What's you what someone gap? smart would have picked. What? The woman that lived oh, in a wow. shoe. What? I heard she used to have hardwood That's floors impossible. in there, but now she's got wall-to-wall -wall odor eaters. Okay. Halfway there, ten more questions coming round at you two. in round two. Okay, pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Come on, we need a category. Category, let's do it. A good stiff one. Two G's for a right answer. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Which mortis explains why a stiff is called a stiff? Liver mortis, rigor mortis, alger mortis, or harpo mortis? One or two. What's the best guess? I guess he doesn't know, so I'll have to guess on my own. I would have chosen one. Liver mortis means the color of death. I think some car companies are using that as a new upholstery color. Darn it. Oh, no. Too bad you didn't choose this. Was it two? Ah, darn Rigor it. mortis refers oh, wow. to the stiffening of the body after death. Who says a stiff man is hard to find? Oh, it wasn't your fault. How about it? We need a category. Twelve. This one's gonna be... A lot at stake. 
This one's worth $4,001 bills. We all know beauty pageants treat women like pieces of meat. Suppose it were a meat beauty pageant. Considering the literal translation of their names, which dish would you expect to win? Steak tartare, filet mignon, ribeye, or steak au gratin? It's all yours! For me. It must be free. Now, ribeye sounds like some kind of carnival freak. Okay. Now, the correct answer is... Filet mignon. Oh, man. Literally cute filet. She might win based on her looks, but she won't be as popular in the talent competition as the New York Strip. Alright, go ahead and pick one. This category is... Wait, I have a vision. We got four grand on the table. Okay, help me out here. I'm trying to think of this guy's name. Buzz in and type in your answer when you think you know the answer. Can you remember? Okay. He was considered by some to be a prophet. And uh, he was a 16th century Frenchman. He made a bunch of predictions about the future that, that still freak a lot of people out. And he goes by one name, uh, you know, like Charo or Liberace. Oh, who is that guy? The That's name you really didn't come up with is was Nostradamus. That was my original guess. Oh. I believe he predicted He's that Nostradamus. he didn't have a chance in hell getting this right. Whatever it's pronounced Man, as. Take your pick. What do you say? Alright, next up, Jigsaw Puzzle a la Corpse. Two thousand bucks riding on this one. Okay, imagine this. Dr. Frankenstein created the Frankenstein monster from spare parts of dead humans. Now he wants to create a porcine pet for him. Which set of parts should the good doctor get? Lassie's fur and Benji's eyes, Mr. Ed's head and Trigger's mane, Babe's Morris brain and Arnold Ziffel's snout, or Morris's disposition and Garfield's dry wit? I think it's one, I don't know. I'm gonna play it safe, not one. Over here we have the right answer. If something's oh, porcine, it's pig-like, and that's what Babe and Arnold are. It's alive! Come on, we need a category. We call this Are one we a no whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of this nothing. Worth four thousand dollars. According to the, the philosophy of nihilism, nothing question. has meaning. Because its manufacturer has a patent for nothing enclosed by a circle, which of the following products might be embraced by nihilists? Hula hoops, Dunkin' wow. Donuts, Lifesavers, or Lenders All Bagels? All of them are circles. This is a trick question. Oh, yeah. I would have said one or two. Go for I'm it. Gonna try it. Hula hoops. Um, nihilists aren't real big on pop culture fads. Right. See if two can save it. <laughs> Lifesavers. Oh. So what if life is really an unknowable, empty non-existence? I'm not doing so good on this round. Rat. Okay, pick a category. Uh-oh. Chess but sits grime floor. It's time for Uh oh, gibberish. And this okay, gibberish then. questions category is Jacques Cousteau's pickup line. Uh oh, ten grand. And ten thousand dollars is what we're stepping out the door with. All right, I'm taking cash away every second and a half. So the faster you are, the more you score. Okay, now tell me, with what famous movie title does this rhyme? Tush is pretty as a suntan squid. First hint, it's a western. Okay. A western starring two good-looking cowboys. Wait, there were lots of hunks and young guns. Last hint, you'll never see this movie at Sundance. Yeah, I don't know this. Cash unless you leave it. 
Man, you gotta be kidding me. You never saw Tush as pretty as a suntan squid? My butt's kept me in a suntan kid. Bad. Where do you try getting past the Bolivian army? Oh, oh, what the balls? Oh. How about it? We need a category. And a freaking balls. Ow. The category is flashing swords and dazzling smiles. This one's worth six grand. Cookie, okay, for this question, you have to know that tartar is the name of a people, not just the stuff on your teeth. Some people believed in tartar control way back in history. If you want a toothpaste that has proven tartar fighting ability, which one should you not choose? Minty Fresh, Attila the Hun, Bursting with Cinnamon, Charlemagne, Cool Peppermint, Ivan the Great, or Triple Action, Genghis Khan? In case you're interested, here's the right answer. The Tartars are a Muslim people of the former USSR, and Attila never fought them. That's why four out of five dentists say you should avoid using Mickey Fresh Attila. <laughs> This question's category is, sit on it, but don't rotate. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. Check this out. If you literally had your head stuck where the sun don't shine, what would you expect to happen to the pupils in your eyes? They would atrophy, they would constrict, they would deflate, or they would dilate. Okay. And I'm wrong. Wow, you really do have your head stuck there. When you okay. stick your head where the sun don't wow. shine, your pupils would expand to let in as much light as possible. In other words, they would dilate. Okay. But I think the they real question dilate. here is, aren't you just a little too serious about your yoga? Take your pick. What do you say? Oh, God. I'm not picking free. And this category is... The milkman doesn't always get lucky. 4,000 bucks behind this one. All right, yes, it's a bodily fluid question. Imagine this scenario. The friendly milkman shows up at Dracula's door with some bottles of milk but no blood. Assuming the milkman's an average person, how much blood can the angry Dracula extract from him? One pint, six quarts, ten gallons, or sixty quarts. Six quarts. The average human adult has around six quarts of blood in him. Yeah. Yes. Which is more than an for Dracula, who incidentally and looks really funny really with the blood off. mustache. I have to pick the best category. Come on, we need a category. Super stuff. No special. Twenty. Category. Good tune. Just one more question later from the Jack right Attack. Answer. Imagine yeah, Yosemite Sam is quite the classical musician. If, if Yosemite one. Sam wanted to restring his violin, which of his loony friends would he have to disembowel to obtain catgun? Tweety Bird, Pork the Porky Pig, Sylvester the Cat, or you Buzz Bunny? Change bucket in my no. I'm gonna say three on this one. Catgun cats. Makes sense. Too bad it's wrong. <laughs> Here's okay, then my one is over. Cat is the tough cord made from the treated yeah. intestines of sheep or Sorry, pigs. Sorry, guys, that was my dad. How about it? We need a category. Oh, well. Maybe another day. Uh, right. Something jack attack. Time for the attack. Soon as you see two words on the screen that match, hit your buzzer. Two thousand bucks if you're right, two thousand off if you're wrong. But do not forget, not just any match works. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Group growth. I'm gonna call it an orgy, but either way it feels good. Enjoy. That's 
scared me. Frank Steen. And uh, Cookie, what's going on here? Well, what do you know? You made it to the high scoreboard. Of course, no one's ever played the game before, so a three-year-old could have done the same thing. Anyway, when you're done admiring yourself, why don't you tell me if you want to play again, all right? All right, so I'm not sure. has been synonymous so... with quality since 1940. Right. Yeah, no, with our clearance sale, everything must go. That means we're selling our finest mahogany caskets and concrete barrel. Oh, I got it. Christmas. 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 Christmas.